there is a lot of debate on this, you know, because uh, uh, the vaccines we use for COVID are uh, RNA vaccines that cause the expression of the spike protein in the in the host. So the spike protein is implicated uh, also uh, in some of the immune reactions that we see uh, during COVID infection. So it is not just the envelope. The envelope plays a minimal role, the viral envelope. It is mainly the spike. So uh, I think that uh, we have had uh, two conditions developing. Uh, people, uh, based on the fact that uh, some people experience long COVID features, so long-term problems after COVID infection, also people are after the vaccine in some cases uh, have had uh, manifestations uh, uh, that resemble those that we have seen in the long COVID. So fatigue, uh, paresthesia, uh, this may be linked also to the uh, activation uh, of uh, inflammatory responses, so lymphocytes, cytokines, that after the virus uh, and also after the vaccine may actually trigger uh, some uh, uh, the interaction uh, with the brain function with the peripheral nervous system, for instance. Uh, but uh, the, it was perceived that the vaccine is actually quite safe as uh, there is no evidence of long-term uh, effect uh, after vaccination, except for a few cases of uh, Guillain-Barré syndrome, uh, who developed, uh, people who developed the GBS, uh, uh, which is quite a specific, uh, I think, but is also expression of an abnormal immune uh, response in uh, individuals which are who are relatively well sensitive or to uh, inflammation.